Yo, what if I told you there's a hidden world of powerful, unofficial Flipper Zero apps you won't find on any official list? These aren't just imaginary apps. These are the powerful community built tools kept out of the official releases. We're talking about tools for USB attacks, Wi-Fi penetration testing, and Bluetooth disruption. The stock features are cool, but the community built software, that's where the real power is. Ready to see what your flipper can really do? I'm Jay Blanked, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock these apps by installing custom firmware. The Flipper Zero is an amazing multi-tool for pen testers and hardware geeks, letting you interact with everything from RFID and NFC to Bluetooth and infrared. While the official app store has plenty of great tools, the real fun begins when you step outside that ecosystem by installing custom firmware. Community built firmwares like Unleashed and the one we're focusing on today, Momentum, remove official limitations and add powerful applications that are often too experimental for a main release. So today, we're not just looking at apps, we're giving the Flipper a complete upgrade to unlock its hidden power. Okay, but before we go any further, we need to have a serious talk about using these tools ethically. The tools we're about to get into are no joke. The Flipper Zero itself is a tool for learning and security testing, not for illegal activities. Using these features to mess with systems or devices you don't own or have explicit permission to test is against the law and can get you in serious trouble. This video is for educational purposes only, to show you the device's capabilities in a controlled and responsible way. I am not responsible for how you use this information. So always get permission, hack ethically, and don't be the person who ruins it for everyone else. So what's the deal with custom firmware anyway? Think of the official firmware that comes on your flipper as its standard operating system. It's stable, reliable, and gives you a solid set of approved features. Custom firmware, on the other hand, is like a modified version of that OS built by the community. Developers take the official code and build on it, opening up a whole new level of functionality. Today, we're focusing on momentum, which strikes a great balance between power and usability. It's loaded with features, is highly customizable, and gives you access to some of the most popular unofficial apps, all while keeping things stable. It really pushes the device's capabilities without making it crash all the time, which is a perfect choice for unlocking the apps we're about to dive into. All right, let's get Momentum installed. The whole process is actually pretty simple. The developers made a web installer, which is the easiest way to do it. First, connect your Flipper Zero to your computer using its USB-C cable. Now, open up Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and head to momentum-fw.dev. This is the official website for Momentum. You'll see an install button right on the page. Click it, and now change the channel to mainline. Make sure your flipper is connected, and then click install. It'll take five to 10 minutes to flash over to your flipper, but the installer handles everything. So do not disconnect the flipper while it's doing its thing. But once you're finished, your flipper will reboot and you'll see the momentum welcome screen. You've now officially upgraded your device. Once it's finished, the flipper will reboot and you'll see the momentum welcome screen. You've now successfully upgraded your device. The interface will look a little different, but with more customization options and a ton of new apps ready to go, let's get into it. With Momentum firmware installed, we now have access to a bunch of powerful applications you won't find in the official app store. 
Let's count down the top three apps that you can now use. All right, coming in at number three is the Enhanced Bad USB. The official firmware already has a bad USB feature, which lets the flipper pretend to be a keyboard and run pre-written scripts when you plug it into a computer. It's a classic pen testing tool for showing off security weak spots or installing firmware on the fly. However, Momentum takes it to the next level. Momentum's Bad KB or Bad Keyboard has extra options that aren't available in other firmwares. Momentum is also loaded with a huge amount of community built scripts for everything from opening a reverse shell to pulling data off a machine. It's not just about typing text anymore, it's about having more sophisticated automated control making it a much more powerful tool for authorized penetration tests. And the next one is a gateway to a whole new world of Wi-Fi hacking. Now, the Flipper doesn't have a Wi-Fi chip built in, so to do any kind of Wi-Fi penetration testing, you need an external Wi-Fi development board. This is where the Flip Wi-Fi app comes in. Flip Wi-Fi is a companion app that lets your flipper become the command center for that Wi-Fi board. Once connected, you can use the flipper's interface to scan for nearby networks and for security testing on your own network, you can launch deauthentication attacks to see how your devices react when they're kicked off the Wi-Fi. You can even set up custom captive portals. Many custom firmware also include an ESP flasher app, which lets you load the necessary software onto the Wi-Fi board using only the flipper, making your setup completely portable and field ready. All right, now we're about to get into the most powerful and controversial app on this list. But if you're liking this deep dive and want more content that explores the Flipper Zero's full potential, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and it's free. Finally, at number one, we have the most infamous unofficial app, BLE Spam. Now, BLE, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy, is everywhere. It's in your phone, your headphones, and smart home gadgets. The BLE Spam app lets the Flipper Zero flood the air with a massive storm of fake BLE advertisement packets. What does this do? Well, on iPhones, Android devices, and even Windows machines, it can trigger a non-stop storm of pop-up notifications for fake devices like Apple TVs or smart keyboards, making the phone pretty much unusable until the spam stops or Bluetooth is turned off. These attacks got a ton of attention after it was used to cause chaos. So a lot of these are already patched by Apple and Samsung. Now, while it sounds purely like a prank for a security pro, this is a powerful denial of service testing tool. Now you could use it to check the resilience of your own IOT devices. Like how does your smart lock or security camera react when it's bombarded with junk data? Does it fail safely or does it crash and burn? The BLE spam app lets you answer those questions, making it the most powerful and arguably the most dangerous app you can unlock on the Flipper Zero. Well, there you have it. By going beyond the official firmware and installing something like Momentum, you can unlock a whole new level of power in your Flipper Zero. From the advanced scripting of the enhanced bad USB and the Wi-Fi testing capabilities of Flip Wi-Fi to the disruptive potential of BLE spam, these community built apps truly transform the device. They take it from a cool gadget and turn it into a serious tool for security research and penetration testing. But just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These tools are for learning, testing, and 
ultimately making our digital world a safer place. Use them wisely, use them ethically, and keep on exploring. So what's your favorite custom firmware app? Did I miss one that you think should have been on the list? Let me know down in the comments. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.